I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss different approaches which can be adopted to sketch product of functions. Here the example before us is explain how will you sketch graph of product of f and g if f of x is equals to square root of minus x and g of x is equals to log of x plus 10. Now as you know square root of minus x means square root functions reflected on y-axis so that is a graph for square root of minus x let me write this as f of x as equals to square root of minus x right now the other graph which we have here is the graph of log of x plus 10 that means log x graph has been translated 10 units to left right so we have a vertical asymptote here right so that is the vertical asymptote and the function approaches minus infinity as the x value approaches minus 10. So this is the graph of log of x plus 10. Now the question is how can we sketch graph of product of these functions right. So, so we need to sketch graph of product of f of x and g of x that means f times x f times g of x right so that is what we need to sketch now one way is from the graph itself you can take different values at same value of x multiply the y values to get the the answer right and then you can plot those points that's that's a good way of doing it so we'll adopt two different approaches here one is we can have table of values right and the other approach will be from the graph itself. So these are common approaches which you can always adopt while sketching graph of combination of functions, right? Now, even before getting there, one which is very critical for us to understand is what should be the values to consider. And for those values, what we need to always consider is common domain. So let me write common domain here. Since the combination of functions can be done here in this case combination is product of functions can be done only in common domain of both the functions right. So let us begin by finding the common domain itself. So as far as the domain is concerned what is the domain of f of x we are given f of x as equals to square root of minus x. So the domain here is that x should be less than equal to 0 right. So that is how the function is. Minus x should be greater than or equal to 0 or x is less than or equals to 0. How about the domain of g of x? Domain of g of x, the function before us is log of x plus 10. And we know x plus 10 should be greater than 0 or x should be greater than minus 10. So that is the domain of g of x. So what is the common domain? So common domain is between minus 10 and 0 where 0 is including. So we have the common domain which is x should be greater than minus 10 and should be less than or equal to 0. So that is the common domain. So from the graph we can plot between these points where this is not included but this point is included. So that is the common domain over which we can sketch the graph of product of these two functions, right? So I hope that point is clear to you. That is, what is the common domain? And now what we can do is we can calculate some values and then plot the graph of their product, right? So that is the strategy which we are going to adopt. So, so what we can do here now is that let us take some values of x and calculate uh, f of x and g of x and then multiply them to get the product right so and multiply them to get the product so that is what we are going to do now right so, so i'm just drawing lines here to take some values so we'll now consider a few values of x and for those values x we'll find what f of x is and what is g of x 
and then we'll do product of f and g okay so to begin with we can actually write minus 10 there is no harm minus 10 could be our first value now as we know for minus 10 g of x is the log function so this is g of x for us is actually approaching minus infinity so this is approaching minus infinity well we definitely need calculator okay so so when we consider minus 10 so it is basically square root of 10 that gives us 3.16 so this is 3.16 positive value but when you multiply them we are approaching minus infinity right so that is kind of first value for us and we know that does not exist but that's kind of important parameter right now we can calculate for values like minus 9 minus 8 and so on right up to 0 right so I'm not writing all the values here but you know we can just take few values and then you can fill up with different values 4 is a good value because square root of 4 is 2 and then we can take uh, let us say 2 minus 2 right so minus 2 and then we'll take 0 okay so these are the values which we are going to consider which will calculate okay so let's take all the x values and find f of x and g of x for each correct so i'm just making some you know we'll just calculate few values so what you should do is you should make complete table just 10 values to calculate and then find your answer right so let's do square root so what i will do here is uh, we already have the graph so these values will help you to plot the graph which i have drawn also correct now let us find out the final values using the calculator right of course two values are very prominent here when we multiply zero by anything we get a zero right so for zero this value is going to be zero and here also we have a zero here right do you see that zero okay so can you tell me which is this value this is definitely log of minus 9 plus 10 because log of 1 is 0 so we have two zeros zero times anything will be zero these zeros are mainly because of these two zeros perfect now what I will do is I'll just calculate other values also at 1 also let me write down 1 at 1 we can see this point is 1 so let me write 1 also here so 1 log 1 and then we have we can calculate some value here okay that is fine so let's calculate these values and find our answer we have square root of 8 times <coughs> log of so 8 I'll do the math first minus 8 plus 10 is 2 so we'll just write log of 2 equals 2 we just multiplied and we are writing the value as 0.85 okay for minus 4 we are doing square root of 4 equals to times log of 10 minus 4 is 6 so we'll do 6 equals to 1.55 so let's say 1.56 okay for 2 we have square root of 2 equals to times log of 8 right so that gives us 1.277 1.277 right now since we are going from 0 to minus infinity it's a good idea to take a value like 9.5 right minus 9.5 okay so it'll be square root of minus minus becomes positive 9.5 times log of uh, sorry so we have square root of 9.5 equals to times log of 0.5 and that gives us minus 9 points so that is this value here minus 0 0.9 so what I'm trying to say here is that at 9.5 we are getting almost 1 so so we'll be kind of here okay right now let's plot these values on the graph and then sketch it so we have two zeros and that is at 9.5 at minus 4 we have 1.56 so slightly more than 1 say 1.56 is kind of here 
and at minus 2 we have 1.27 so 1.27 will be this is less than 1 so it has to be less than the square root function value correct now at at 1 at 1 we have 1 so almost 1 okay so almost 1 so that is that is a kind of graph which we get you see that right 0.85 for, for minus 8 which is less than 1 so let's say here so now we can join these points and then graph so we have a function which is kind of like this Do you see that graph? So that becomes the graph of product of the function. Do you see that? So that is how you can sketch the graph. Now, I, I saved some time by not calculating. But anyway, what you should do is, you should make table of values. Once you make table of values for f of x, you can sketch f of x. Then g of x, sketch g of x. Since I had both the graphs, so I didn't do that part. And then you multiply these values. Once you multiply, you'll get the points which can be connected and you get the graph for the product of functions. Now that is the method which is going to be applied for sketching most of the product of functions or even combination of functions, I should say, right? But remember, a critical point here is we should be working on common domain. So first thing always will be to find the common domain then make table of values, right? And plot your graph. I hope this helps you to understand and then continue and do some questions from your book. I think that should help. Thank you and all the best.